Hey, hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Shimmy Show, still in Thailand. Another beautiful morning. I'm about to go running. As you can see, I got my Alibaba $34 Hirachis on, fixing to hit the block. Rained last night. It's okay. What's going on out there today? Lots of scooters and shit. Oh, there's some thicky thicks across the street. I don't have the big lens on, but yeah. Damn. Always good to wake up and see that. Beautiful brown goils. So, um, yeah, hey, it's me again. I didn't make the bed up. I'm about to go run and got on my Chong shirt. <laughs> Fixing to go run Beach Road. Um, check this out, yo. I've been having a ball, as you guys know, on the Shimmy Show lately. I'm probably gonna upload some shit to my other YouTube channels, um, sit up guy and whatever. Yeah, I got my laundry up here. I don't give a fuck. But, um, um, look at this shit on the screen here. Fucking my channel thing. So my eyes are bad. I gotta do HDMI to fucking, um, the TV. Cause I can't, I don't fuck with little small screens and shit usually. Um, this is about, um, I did some, I was doing some, like, uh, some very factual roasting about some of my, uh, haters, stalkers, and motherfuckers who have tried to make my life difficult over the years just because it makes me feel good and you know it's like <sighs> the truth shall set you free okay I am not a criminal I am an entrepreneur webmaster author racer and many many other positive things I produce things to the world I put shit on your internet and TV screen I like looking at myself I'm a beautiful motherfucker right and maybe I'm a little bit full of myself, but that's the attitude that I have, right? So, I was like, yeah, dude. Yesterday I was doing this roast of my, uh, my fucking number one hater, Dorian A. Peters. I did this little fucking thing here. District Attorney, nigga. What was that shit I did? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I forgot. I even looked up the nigger's bar number. Da -da 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 -da. California bar ID 261-863. Yeah, so that was just the prequel to what's going on here. Um, normally, under normal circumstances, I do not make videos and shit unless it is for profit. Basically, every fucking word out of my mouth and every keystroke from my fingers, motherfuckers are going to pay for it. It's going to cost you. I don't work for free. But if I'm doing some shit for leisure, for my entertainment or whatever, it's going to funnel back to me anyway, so... I'm fixing to roast this nigger and the motherfucking scapegoat ass bitch, Raina, Rhina, Ariel Ellsworth, or whatever, with the facts. And it is not slanderous to present facts, okay? This is what I just found on Google. I'm gonna show y'all some tabs before I go running. I should be doing a screen capture on this shit, it's so epic. But uh, here is your girl, the scapegoat for the Office of Juvenile Justice and Delinquency Prevention, Rhina. Ariel Ellsworth, model for my site, Indian Girls, which is throwing back up with a new tour very soon. There she go, right there. Hey, Chuck, I got your girl, Chuck. And this is not slander. This ain't my page, nigga. Just go Google her name, okay? That's her, okay? This is your uh, human trafficking, whatever motherfucking victim that you following me around the world for with all that grant money, you know? Your U.S. Department of Justice, OJJDP, ICAC in Indian Country, Task Force, whatever spearheaded or directed by Dorian A. Peters from the California Bar, with that motherfucking number, is out here after this, this girl here, you know? Now, I ain't got no beef with the girl, you know what I'm saying? She's a model. But she's on this page, what does it say there, man? Arrested. Battery on a police officer. Wait a minute now. Now, I'm, I don't know the ins and outs of the shit, but that's just what the public records page says. But why would you use a girl like that as your scapegoat for being like your person that I victimize? You know what I'm saying? What does that say about her character or this other character? Let's dig a little deeper, shall we, before this morning run. You know? Why not? What else do these other tabs I find discover? Oh, shit! Lovely from Albuquerque. Thicky, thick, thick thighs, nigga. Damn. Now, she is a beautiful girl. She is a beautiful girl. 
I really suggest you guys go to my Clips for Sale store, C4S 30703. And also the other side, Indian Girls. It's on X videos. Millions and millions and millions of motherfuckers watch my movies, right? I got like fucking, I think last I looked, 80 million something views, 40,000 subscribers on just one of my channels, all that. The girl got some thicky thick thighs. Bam! Right? This is your girl, Dorian Peters. <laughs> you gonna follow me to the Dominican Republic for that? Now, she got some thighs. She a Navajo. I'm gonna give you that. But let's see what she talking. Since she's saying that I... Since you motherfuckers are saying that I exploited her, let's see what she says in her own words on this page. Because the roasting has not begun yet. I have, by the way, I have, I have nothing... I have nothing negative or whatever about Raina, this or Reina or whatever. This is about that nigga and the organization, right? Get your facts straight before you fuck with me. This girl signed my model releases. I paid her the cash. I got video of her throwing money in the room and everything, right? What does she have to say for herself? Did I exploit her? She says, lovely. Modeling is something, quote unquote. Modeling is something I have always wanted to do since I was small. <laughs> I started out from pageants to slowly getting into a variety of modeling right after high school. I love being in front of the camera, love working with different photographers and models, like Shimmy from Shimmy Productions, buy my movies, I want your money, honey. <laughs> being a, what does it say? Being a Route 66 calendar model would be one amazing adventure to experience. Hopefully I get to be in the top choice. For show, for show, for show. She is a beautiful girl. Nice legs. Got a little thicky thick since I remember seeing her before. You know, I filmed her when she was 19. But that's your girl. As Chappelle does on the, uh, on the rich nigga skit. I got your girl, Chuck. Dorian Peters comes to Dominican Republic and asks me in the Dominican brothel with hookers all around grabbing our dicks and shit saying, what about Raina? What about Raina? What about Raina? This is your girl, nigga. Why you asking me? Why don't you go talk to her? Why you gonna follow me around the world, dog? Over her. That Indian money. Motherfuckers. Native American grant money. I'll be goddamn. Got niggers working for him at that. I hope you guys did your paperwork. Apparently you didn't. And apparently you didn't do your paperwork on me. And apparently you underestimated me. You think I'm some ignorant ass nigger, I know. You don't see how ignorant I can get. But we gonna get with the facts today. I love facts and I love the truth. I love the truth. The truth shall set you free. Roy, let's do let's do a Dutch angle shimmy style. You know, I, I always got that 45 degree porno angle shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm famous for it, nigga. <laughs> so while we in Thailand, I got a couple tabs open. I was looking her up on Google today. Now let's see, I ain't talking about no arrest records and no bullshit like that. But motherfuck, like <laughs> the girl, nigga, the girl. Where's that video? Where's her famous video? I gotta go look it up on the shimmy page just before I go running. Because this shit just makes my teeth fucking white. Where's she at? I got a bunch of fucking... Oh, there she go, nigga. Or that's one of her famous clips. Now let's see what this girl has to do if y'all have not seen her fucking behind the scenes shit yet. Because every model does a behind the scenes clip. Oh, Lord have mercy. Look at all that money on the bed. <laughs> This is YouTube. What did I call this shit? BTS behind the scenes. Navajo teen runaway rhino. Indian girls. OJJDP ICAC in Indian country. She on the bed counting that money. Got 15 changes of clothes in a fucking Adidas duffel bag. She going to work, son. <laughs> in the Holiday Inn. Just like Changi. Chilling in the Holiday Inn. <laughs> Bring forward your friends. <laughs> this is how I treat my models. You know, I treat them good. Good hotels, all that shit. Cash money, 1099 tax returns. Model releases and all that shit. Look, she's skinning and grinning and smiling. Now, does that girl look like she's been exploited? You tell me. I don't exploit motherfuckers. I'm in business, motherfucker. I'm in business to make money. The only people I exploit are the motherfucking consumers, trick-ass niggers to slide their credit card and pay for the shit. 
okay? That's who gets exploited, motherfucking customers. But if I give them good shit in a good quality video to jack they dicks off to, it's not really exploitation. That's just commerce, nigga. Alright? So anyway, check this video out. It's all over the web. I would probably spam a million fucking copies of it up there. Look at that, nigga. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, that was perfect. Let me go back there. Hold up, hold up. What did I zoom the camera out to? Hold on. She's stuffing all her clothes. I made her change clothes a couple times and shit. A couple shoots. Look on the table there, nigga. Model releases. Money. Everything. Paperwork. I keeps it a hundred and keeps it legal eagle nigga. <laughs> but the games have just begun. You could have picked a better bitch for your scapegoat, I'm sure. But, um... It is what it is. It is what it is, my friend. But anyway, look that shit up on the YouTube and on Google and whatever. And the next, um, the next couple of videos I make are going to get even deeper and deeper. Like Boss said, Lachelle Laws, deeper and deeper. <laughs> uh, just living, loving life here, peoples. You know, it is what it is. But, um... I'm gonna make an example out of people when they fuck with me. Now, I don't care who you are. I don't care who you think you are. I don't care what you think your title represents. I got the truth. I got the facts. And like they say on cops, why'd you run? Why'd you run? This nigga ran like a motherfucking track meet. Totally ghosted. Totally harasses me for damn near a fucking decade online and offline. Now that all this shit comes to light and I'm publishing the truth, nigga ghost. Ran like a track meet, like T.I. said. Let off 50 shots, nigga, ran like a track meet. Well, why'd you run? Why'd you run? You wanna get this barred, nigga? I don't care if you practice law for the rest of your fucking life. That shit gonna be on the internet and your name is out there.